Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, as the title of this video says, I'm gonna be doing Do I Have That Book Tag? Uh, which was created by Toby. I'm gonna link the original video down below with all the questions and there's a lot of questions and it looks like she's timing herself in the video and I don't even know if I have that book, all of those books. I don't know if I'm gonna be timing myself. Sure, I'll time myself. Okay, ready, steady, go. Okay, oh, oh, go back to the questions. Do you have a book with deckled edges? Okay, uh, I think I do, I think I do, I think I do. Yes, I do. Speak has deckled edges. I love deckled edges, even though I don't know why I'm talking. I should honestly hurry. Question number two. Do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Um, I hate people on the cover, but let's see. Ah, okay, no, that's one person. There's no people. Ah, people on the cover? That's just two people. Guys, I'm panicking, I'm painting. Oh no. Yes, okay, the inexplicable logic of my life, three people. Whew, I have that book, fantastic. Sorry, it's very chaotic. Okay, question number three. Do you have a book based on another fictional story? Yes, I have Wicked based on The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, which was crap, do not read it, but there, there you go, <laughs> I have that. Four, do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? I don't know, oh my gosh. 11, no, ah, I swear to God, none of them have it. Yes, okay, Whew. Don't You Cry by Mary Kubica, 10 letters. Oh my God, I was about to give up at this point. I counted about like 30 books and none of them had 10 letters. Okay, question number five. Do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? Oh, what the hell? It's funny how I just, just totally gravitate towards my favorite shelf. I shouldn't probably do that, but okay. Yes, okay. Ringer. Ringer. R, R. That's great. <laughs> that was easy. Six, do you have a mass market paperback book? I totally do. I totally do. I love them. They're great to carry around them everywhere. Fantastic books. Totally have it. Don't fall. Ugh, bad idea stuck in my books like this, that's for sure. Seven, do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Huh. Yes, Feed by Mira Grant, Shannon McGuire is her name. Mira Grant isn't, but here we are. Do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Yes, where is that sucky? The first one comes to my mind, Harry August. Horrible book, do not read it. <laughs> Nine, do you have a book with two maps in it? No, probably don't. Oh, uh, I don't even have any fantasy or anything. I don't think there's maps. I think there's only one map in this one. Yeah, there's, they only have one map in there. Brandon Sanderson have only one map. Come on now. Dude, could have concluded two. I know that I haven't read any books that have two maps, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they have one map, but two maps. Who needs two maps? Let's check your favorite book of all time. I bet even this book doesn't have two maps. Doesn't even have one map. <laughs> really? It doesn't even have one map? How pathetic. Yeah, so I think I don't. If uh, you see a book that has two maps, let me know because I don't want to lose this game, this tag because of one stupid fantasy book that I don't own. Wait a second! The Tattoos of Auschwitz has two maps. It has a map of the world and the map of the camp. Is that maps? I don't know, but we're counting it. We're stretching it to as much as we can. Okay, 10. Do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Absolutely. My eyes closed. I will show you the book and I'll tell you, read it. 11, do you have a book written by someone who's originally famous for something else? Celebrity, athlete, politician, TV personality. I mean, Mitch Albom was like a, a sport journalist or some sort, but I wasn't, I wouldn't say he was famous. Dude, I don't know. I don't really read books by, you know, famous people. You know what? That's cheating, is it cheating? Okay, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna grab my husband's book. I mean, it, I have it, I own it, I bought it. <laughs> So it's The Spirit of St. Louis by Charles Lindbergh. I think this guy's famous for flying across the Atlantic Ocean 
from uh, I think New York to France and he was the first one who did it in like the small airplane he was stretching it here but this is it he wrote a book and he was famous for something else first so do you have a book with a clock on the cover okay of a keyhole I mean clock 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 on the cover it doesn't even have a clock yeah, even Sherlock Holmes doesn't have a clock. What do you expect? Ha <laughs> ha! Mitch Album is my dude! Yes, a lot of clocks. Thank you very much. Ah. Oh. And then you're asking me why I love Mitch Album. <laughs> 13. Do you have a poetry book? I do. I had to go and get it from the nightstand, but I have the Leaves of Grass Poetry Collection by Walt Whitman. Collection? Collection. Um yeah, one of the greatest poetry collections. It's so good. Are you tired of me yet? 14. Do we have a book with a word stamps on it? Yes, I do. Let me grab a few. <laughs> the Giver. A great, nice, shiny golden stamp. Great book, by the way. 15. Do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? So, CR. My initials. Let's see if I have CR. Do I have author with the last name starts from R? Like library organized their books. They're organized by the author's last name, but that method organization would be really nice right now. I'm not gonna lie. If you, I mean, if you close a font and Carlos Ruiz, I mean, that's pretty good. That's the closest I can get. I don't know. Ruby, what? Laura, what we got? Darn it. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> All right, I don't think I have it. I mean, if you want to count the shadow of the wind, probably you No, <laughs> doesn't count. So no, I don't. The official question is I don't, unless I'm blind. That could be a possibility. 16, do you have a book of short stories? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Oh my, I got the crease, yes. The last seance, there are many short stories of sort of supernatural mysteries. Yes, I love you. 17, do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages long? I probably do. Give me a second. Give me maybe 10 minutes. Okay, I need a thick book. A thick. This one is 600 pages, yes. Are you good for anything? Nope, you're not. I need that. <gasps> yes! Yes, yes, hold on. After 500 pages, it's just like, I don't know, like afterward, does that count? If it does, then this is the last page of the book, which is 505, count. You know what, it's fine. The shadow of the wind should count for something. Okay, 18, do you have a book that was turned into a movie? I hate your gift, please watch this one, it's so good. Slowly but surely, my bookshelf is turning to a mess, fantastic. Number 19 is, do you have a graphic novel? I never thought I would lose to this one. Gosh darn it. Do you want to count this as a graphic novel? No, graphic novel is it's told in pictures. This is not told in pictures. Even though this book is filled with a lot of nice pictures, it's not a graphic novel. So no, I do not own a graphic. <gasps> Wait a freaking second here. Sir? Sir? Where did I put that book? I completely forgot that I have the, uh, the best American comics and those are all graphic novels. <sighs> I forgot I have this one, even though I was reading this in my reading, what, 75 pages every day for a month? Go see that video, it was nuts, but <laughs> Have it. The last question is, do you have a book written by two or more authors? Yes! The Wife Between Us, Green, Hendrix and Sarah Pekinen. Boom! Just kidding, I'm not gonna drop this book. <laughs> Alright, well, my dudes, let's go see how much time have I wasted. 23 minutes. <laughs> Alright, well, why did I teach us that book tags can be messy? They take a lot of time and they break your heart apart if you do not own every single book that they tell you to own. So, well, 
that was fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go clean right now my mess. I'll see you next time. Bye.